Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with meteorologist Cameron Landfield. So today's weather is dictated entirely by a dip in the upper atmosphere. Usually we see these a little bit wider than we do for today, though. This is a short wave that's moving through, and that makes things slightly cooler today. Also, we've got an air quality alert overhead, so check this out right behind me. You can see the extent of that. It should be through tomorrow, but because of that dip I was talking about, out, we'll see more circulation in the upper atmosphere today, and I wouldn't expect for the air quality to get too bad, at least until we get into the later evening and we see the edge of that little dip moving through towards the east. So that is going to be through Wednesday. Likely tomorrow morning we'll end up with some poor air quality, but for today, things are probably going to be a little better. Here's that dip I was speaking about. You can see it where it reverberates all the way out into the water. You can see that little dip moving through here. It's moving quickly as well, and that brings northern air into the area. We've got north winds towards the surface and some southwesterly winds in the upper atmosphere, and I said it a bunch of times now. That just brings circulation into the upper atmosphere, so we're not going to be stagnating for today, which brings me to the smoke forecast. Check it out. Everything stays away from the valley today. We see just pushing out towards the east for the entirety of the day. So good news for the smoke forecast. Oak Ridge still looks like they're going to have some issues, but of course they will with the consistency of those fires all around. Now, there's actually a bit of an oscillation between the dip today and then a ridge for tomorrow and Thursday and then yet another dip. So check this out. You can see it on the stormcast. Here's today's dip moving through. Then as we get into Wednesday, a slight rise. You can see those bars starting to turn up. Then Thursday evening into Friday. Watch this. There's a, another one moving through into Saturday. So you'll see that reflecting in the temperatures too. Moving to the seven day forecast, it's just what I was talking about. For the coast, not a lot of change because they're uh, not as easy to move the temperatures out there. So looking at those high 60s. But the Umpqua Basin, high 80s today, then mid 90s. After that, back into the high 80s. There's your oscillation. For the Cascade Passes, looking hazy today at 76, back into 82 by Wednesday. Willamette Valley finally 88 for today, 95 for the high Thursday with the edge of that ridge and then moving back into a trough into the 80s Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday with some cloud coverage. But now it's time to wait.